the season to be jolly and all of that jazz. Now that it's getting into Christmas time, I thought I'd bring you along with me to the bookshop that I work at, Winstones in Sidmouth. It's an independent bookshop, part of a branch of three bookshops under the Winstones title. There's one in Froome, one in Sherborne, and one here in Sidmouth. In the preparation and lead up to Christmas, we've been getting really excited about some of the best books that are being sold this year and that are being sold over this Christmas period. And I kind of wanted to take you around my little bookshop, show you some of my favorites from the year, and show you some recommendations that I think would go down well for Christmas this year. So come and have a look with me. So one of my favourite sections is of course the fiction section. Our adult fiction section is wonderful. It has a really wide variety of books actually and given that the three of us who work at the shop kind of have our say at times about what books we think should also go in, um, we've managed to build up quite a decent selection. I think some of my favourites are of course the David Mitchell books that you can never go wrong with. Um, I think David Mitchell writes for lots of people. I think there's something in each of his books that could be for any type of reader. Um, so there's always one of his books that would always make a great gift. And as for one of my favourite reads of the year that's been on our shelves, I've got The Beautiful Summer by Cesare Pavese. Now, all of these sort of Penguin European writer series have been wonderful. Um, and I've kind of been putting them in the hands of lots of customers. Um, they're very seasonal books, and there is a new one, a German one, which I can't remember the title of, that's coming out soon for like the winter season. Um, and I've just, each one has been great, each one has been brilliant, um, and I'm really enjoying the way that the series is going. The design is also fantastic. And down at the bottom we have George Saunders's new books, Fox 8. Now, I haven't read this book, but I really want to, just because of the cover. If you know me at all, you know I love foxes. It's a beautiful little hardback that I think would make a perfect stocking filler gift um, for anybody who loves reading, who loves reading something a little bit quirky too, um, because you know, George Saunders. <laughs> we have also kind of expanded our selection to cover a lot of different things. We started getting in more um, graphic novels here ever since the Man Booker Prize and Sabrina was on it. Um, it's been getting more and more popular as a genre. It's really exciting to see the way that it is developing and the way, way it is getting um, exposure to the public. And ever since reading England, England by Julian Barnes, I've been really keen to get into more of his work. Um, so his latest one is The Only Story, which explores like the role of love and romance as you get older and the way that love changes, which is always a very exciting um, topic. And I think if anyone can handle it, um, Julian Barnes can do it in an absolutely beautiful and absolutely perfect way. And one of our booktube favourites, we of course have The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by Jen Campbell. It's a collection of short stories inspired by various fairy tales um, that's kind of gone into a unique take on it that kind of that doesn't shy away from the darker sides of life and of the fairy tales that we're used to. We also have um, some hardbacks, which are really exciting. The one that I've got on my radar the most is Middle England by Jonathan Coe. I've got a proof of this at home and I'm so excited to get into it. It's, it's a kind of satirical take on Brexit. It kind of makes it a little bit quirky, a little bit funny, and it's kind of the sort of book that perhaps we need in these sort of times. And then of course we also have The Dead X by Jane Corrie. Jane Corrie is a local author to, to us here in Sidmouth. And she actually held her publication party here in the shop um, this summer. It was very exciting. So we've had lots of people coming in and asking for this book. And you never know, you might see Jane Corrie yourself in here because she does like to come in quite often. <laughs> So we also have our sci-fi and fantasy section, which is another one of my favorite sections. And since working here, I've put in a few titles myself, um, ones you might recognize from my channel, such as The Natural History of Dragons. I think it's been one of my favorite reads of the year. It's such a wonderful take on the fantasy genre. It's a beautiful story and just delivered in a really fresh way, which I just absolutely adored. And of course, we've got The Vor and The Erstwhile by B. Catling. These are very interesting fantasy novels, and they look at sort of colonialism in Africa. They look at the dark side of fa fantasy in a very intelligent way, and in a way that I think a lot of people who might not be used to reading fantasy could really get on board with and enjoy it. While there are some, like, weird and quirky things happening, um, there's a lot of deep meaning and deep understanding that can be really taken from these books. They're a bit slow, perhaps, but lots of people, myself included, sometimes enjoy that slow 
slow burn where you actually have to think about what you're being told. And one of my most anticipated latest releases is this, it's Rosewater by Tay Thompson. Now this has come out recently, it's a Nigerian um, sci-fi book about a biodome and the people who live like on the fringes of it. Um, it sounds really intriguing and I think it's the sort of book that a lot of people, particularly who watch my channel, could really enjoy. Um, I'm super excited to get to it myself. I'm going into it with without knowing much because I haven't heard many people talking about it yet, but I'm super excited to get on board with this one. In our sort of gift and arts and crafts section, we have some absolutely wonderful books, like the big coffee table books that I know a lot of book lovers could really enjoy. Here we have The Illustrated Dust Jacket by um, Martin Salisbury. This book has absolutely wonderful images inside and gives you a history about how the designs of the um, dust jackets kind of developed throughout the ages. Some of the pictures are really beautiful and you get an actual insight into something you might not have thought about before, um, yet kind of makes a really big impact on the sort of books that you yourself read. We also have this big book, The Books That Change History from DK. Now this one, again, is just a look at some of the titles throughout our history that kind of have changed the way that not only we look at history itself, but changed the way that literature has played a role in history. Um, I think, you know, they're, they're, there's some beautiful images to go with them. And it, and it gives you such a deep insight into quite a lot of books um, that it gives you kind of like a very thorough timeline of literature and the role it has played. Um, especially since publishing has kind of caught up on its feet and developed so fast in regards to the amount of time that um, the printing press has been around. The way that books have developed since then is insane. The teen and the children section is another area which I love spending time in. Um, in our teen section, we've got books like Shadow of the Fox, which is a new release. Um, this is one I'm actually really excited about. It's Japanese inspired, it looks at the kitsune, and I know it's getting a lot of buzz here um, on booktube itself. I've also recently read A Winter's Promise by Christel Davos. Now, I really enjoyed this. Um, it was an interesting fantasy book. It's translated from the French and it has some flaws, absolutely, but actually the, the overall premise and the way that the characters evolve, the storyline is intriguing enough to keep you in the plot. It's written actually so well and translated beautifully in a way that you don't feel ever disrupted from understanding the world that is happening within. It's quite a unique world and one that has a lot going for it and I can't wait to explore it further in the next books that come out from this series. And in our young children's section, the picture books this year have been absolutely insane. Some of the picture books that we've been getting in have been so beautiful um, that even when I put them on the shelf, I just kind of want to take them home myself. I think the way that the picture books have developed as an art form themselves is really saying a lot about the sort of things that we are giving to our children and the sort of stories that we are looking for and the way that we want our stories told. One example is this one. It's Moon by Britta Tekentra. Now, it's absolutely stunning. The way that it's been illustrated is gorgeous and I just love the style of this illustration. Illustration. It looks at animals at night time and it shows a really beautiful story as all the animals crawl under the glow of the moon and you can flick through it and the moon glows brighter and brighter with each page that you turn. And then another one of my favourites has got to be The Rhythm of the Rain by Graham Baker Smith. Now you can't see it so well here but the cover has this silver foiling of the rain falling down and the illustrations again are so beautiful. It's a story that tells about the wonders of rain and how kind of we as people use rain and need water. It's a lovely story about two children understanding the role that the rain and the water cycle um, plays in their everyday lives. And it's just such a heartwarming, beautiful tale. There are so many books here at Winsos that we sell and we're very enthusiastic about. It's such a pleasure to put the right book into somebody's hands. And this Christmas time, there's so much options for you to put that book into somebody's Christmas stocking, perhaps. This is just a taste of some recommendations that I've been thinking about over Christmas, things that I would personally read or things I would I believe that lots of other people would enjoy. And these are the sort of books that I absolutely love getting customers interested about and customers talking about. So if you're ever in the area, ever down in Sidmouth, be sure to come in and say hello. And I'll see you next time for another video. Bye bye. <laughs>